to Tina for our Made Match List and I am getting ready to show you the brand new resource from Made Match List called the Made Match List Love Go Journals. And this is the very first one. I'm hoping that to offer you lots, lots more. And let me just tell you a little bit about it. So first of all, it's called a Love Go Journal because the focus is on love God, love others. And Made Matchless is all about that. All the resources that I'm going to be creating are about how we as believers in Jesus can love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then when we are doing that um, through the power of the Holy Spirit, he is going to give us the supernatural capacity to love others. And that's going to be a supernatural overflow of how we love God. And so this very first one is on worship because each Love Go journal is going to focus on loving God with either your heart, soul, mind, or strength. So this one says loving God with your heart through worship. And so this is designed to be appropriate for girls and their moms. The girls ages 10 and up is ideal. And it is designed so that a girl could do it by herself if she is 10 and up, but ideally, this is going to be great for moms and daughters to do side by side. So if you're interested right now, there is a bundle. Um, I'm not sure if by the time you watch this, if they're gonna, if the bundles are gonna be sold out, but I do offer, currently offer a bundle for moms and for daughters, but this video is just going to be focused on the resource itself. If you're interested in seeing the bundle, I did create a different video for that. You can feel free to see that on my YouTube channel. So let's dig in a little bit so you can see if this is going to be a really good fit for you and your daughter. So first of all, it's a smaller size. Okay, it's not going to be a huge commitment. I would say if you do this, uh, there's 16 spreads in here, which I'll show you an example of one of the spreads and we'll kind of show you the different things we're gonna be talking about in here. But you could do it once a week with your daughter. You could do it um, a couple times a week. You could do it once a month. It's gonna be completely up to you when you have the time to do it, when you wanna spend the time to um, do this with your daughter so you can grow closer to God and grow closer to each other. And the Love Go journals are going to be perfect for that. My other resources that I have are planner prayer journals. Those are designed for um, an individual walk with the Lord where um, your daughter or you are going to be using the resource to um, spend one-on-one -on -one time with God. This resource is designed to be put into a mom's hands. So a mom and a daughter can use some um, your time to be together, to get creative together, to learn together, and for this, in this instance, worship together. So let's take a look inside. So first of all, it is a creative, unique journal about worshiping God that girls and moms can do alone, together, or even in groups. So you might want to um, talk to somebody at your church to see if it's something you'd want to do at your church with other moms and girls. So as you open it up, the first thing you'll see is a spread about getting started. So there's a little letter from me, kind of basically breaking down what I just told you just now. Um, but let me read this part here. Love Go Journals will take you on a short, creative, thoughtful journey. You'll read God's truth and express your faith through journaling, poetry, and visual art. And so don't let that make you nervous if you are you don't feel like you're artistic. That's okay. This is about expressing yourself creatively no matter if you have an amazing talent or whether you just like to dabble in it a little bit or it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for you. That's okay. It's perfectly okay because God made all of us matchless for a reason. And this is really an opportunity for you to stretch yourself a little bit and to engage with your daughter in a creative way. I don't know what it is, but girls get creative a lot easier than us moms do. It's almost like over the years, we kind of lose what that feels like to be creative. And this is an opportunity for you to kind of re-engage with that. So over here talks about what you'd need to get started. There's really just basic things you need. Um, this Love Go journal, all right, a copy for you and your daughter or for however many people are doing it, a Bible, and this journal uses the ESV, and then um, pens, gel pens, markers, or pencils, just some colorful writing utensils, okay? And what you're gonna notice is this paper is a nice quality paper, it's nice and smooth, and so it's going to be bleed resistant. So if you're gonna be using gel pens, you're not gonna be seeing them as much through um, the paper, okay? Now some optional materials are some bonus materials. There's um, a, an option to, to purchase bonus materials that are printable. So that's why it says printer with color ink because if you purchase the bonus materials, you need a printer to, to print them out, but you don't have to have that, 
okay? There, um, you maybe want printer paper or cardstock if you're gonna print those out. Some scissors, glue stick, stickers, washi tape, and other journaling accessories or tools. Just basically fun art supplies that you have around that you think you might want to um, use. And then before you begin, it just gives you some tips for how to, how to get your heart and um, your space ready. All right, let's turn the page. Now here, I always, always, always like to make sure that we are um, kind of thinking about some things before we get started. Think about what you actually believe. Um, it has you kind of writing a little statement of faith. faith. It has you kind of thinking about what worship is in your own words right now, just to kind of see where you're at before you get started. This is a page of just fun little elements that you can cut out and glue into your um, Love Go journal. It's got nothing on the other side, so you're not gonna have to worry about cutting something that you shouldn't be cutting. So this you can tear out and you can use these for different purposes. And then this is basically kind of like a little table of contents for the different kinds of worship you're going to be studying. So let's take a look at the first spread. Okay, and you'll notice this is spiral bound, so it's gonna lay nice and flat for you as you and your daughter are working in your Love Go journals. Okay, so this first one is God exalting and humble worship. That's just helping to prepare your heart, to put your heart in the right place before you worship. This is, all of these spreads are put in a very purposeful order. That doesn't mean you have to do them in the exact order. If you want to ask your daughter, which one do you wanna do next and let her pick, that's totally fine. It's just, I put them in a specific order that would make sense. And so you're always going to see what the topic is for the spread. All right, so this spread is all about God exalting and humble worship. There's always going to be a main Bible verse here and then some other verses in case you want to look those up as well. And then here what you're going to see is some short, important, understandable teaching. And I work really hard to make sure that this teaching, moms, is not just going to be something your daughter is going to learn from, but something that you're going to be taking things away from as well. This whole resource is not just designed for girls. It is going to be something that I really hope that you are going to feel like you're getting something out of as well, that you're going to be learning and growing in your um, concept of worship also. So this is some going to be some brief teaching. Then here it says time to write. And there's going to be three, two or three questions here, something for you to do, something for you to think about um, in terms of your own life and what your own worship looks like or doesn't look like, that kind of thing. And so you can use this space to write or you can just have discussion with your daughter if she's not into writing that's okay you can just use this for discussion and over here is going to be the creative worship part of the spread so each side each right side of each spread is going to say time for creative worship and there's going to be a way for you to creatively worship god on this spread about the topic that you're seeing over here so for example this one says you can exalt god right now Using your creativity and art supplies, write down and decorate some words that describe God in the space below. Need help finding words? The Psalms are a great place to look. Feel free to come back and add words as you think of them. Two examples are shown. So that's really simple. You're just starting out really simple. As you go through, there's going to be chances to um, try and write some poetry or some Psalms. There's going to be a chance to doodle and draw some pictures. There's going to be a place for you to write a letter to God. So this is all about getting creative. And what's going to be fun is you and your daughter working across from each other or side by side and being able to see what you come up with and just having a discussion about how God created you different from one another and how you're both expressing yourself creatively differently and how that's a beautiful thing. So I'm excited to see moms and daughters doing that together. Now down here, there's always going to be a little challenge. Every time you see a little palm branch like this, that's going to be a challenge for you to apply this. So the first one is God exalting and humble worship. The second one is God only worship. So some of these spreads are going to introduce some new terminology that is good for your daughter to know. I firmly believe that when you set high expectations, that girls can consistently meet that. And I, I don't believe in dumbing down information or using dumbed down words for our girls, but to teach them new and interesting words that are accurate. And so um, right here, I, I kind of teach them, your worship should be God only worship. A word for that is exclusive, exclusive. And so you can start to talk to your daughter about how 
we exclusively worship God. We don't worship any other gods. We don't put any other gods on the same level as our God, but our God is exclusive. We worship him exclusively. So this talks a little bit about idols and, and things like that. But um, I don't want us to shy away from using words just because we think they might be big. I think our girls can handle it. And it's a way for us to start introducing theological terminology and vocabulary into our daughters' vocabularies. So the second one is God only worship. Thankful worship, reverent worship. There's an interesting word that we will define in there. So she's going to understand what reverent means. Authentic worship, hopeful worship, surrendered and obedient worship, expressive worship, temple worship, no, that doesn't mean we're worshiping a temple, and it doesn't mean we have to be in a temple to worship, but you'll kind of read what that's all about. Together worship, one-on-one -on -one worship. So as you can see, that's an example of why they're in a specific order. We talk about um, worship and community, and then also how important it is to have a personal relationship with God. Daily life worship, serving worship. These are all ways that we can worship God. Resting worship how we can worship God through rest, worship in creation. Again, not worship in creation, but worship in creation and generous worship. I think that's the last one. Yep, the last one. And then at the end, we have some reflection. Again, some, some opportunities to think back and now that you're done and to ask yourself some questions about worship and what you've learned. And these could be just for discussion or you can write them down. And then at the back, there's a place for writing prayer requests, keeping a gratitude list, and then some notes. So my friends, that is the main match list, Love Go Journal on Worship. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. But you can find this at mainmatchless.com slash shop. It's a brand new resource. I'm super excited about these. And I can't wait to hear the stories of moms and daughters coming side by side to learn together, to grow together in your relationship with each other and in your relationship with God and just um, how he's going to teach you to love him more and to love others more through these resources. So thank you so much for watching and remember you are made matchless. Bye.